My name is Tyler Ruskamp, and this is Edward Gonzalez, and we're part of the Virtual Reality Group at Forest Lake Academy's Innovations Lab. Our project is to create a glove that you can wear that has haptic feedback as well as full motion tracking using a Vive Tracker sensor. This glove will be able to track the movements of your fingers as well as your thumb to be able to pick up objects in a virtual environment. To accomplish this task, we first needed a model of a hand to put into Blender. Incidentally, our classmate Ryan Philcox was working on a model for his personal project. Here's an example of one of the fingers moving in Blender. As shown, the first finger has three independently movable joints. This is useful in our process of animating. Since we can move all three joints, the finger can bend all the way down to your palm. This allows us to imitate the full function of the finger. For project testing, we need a virtual environment in which we can manipulate objects, somewhat as in real life. To accomplish this task, we use Unity to create a basic virtual environment using the Oculus Rift virtual reality headset, as well as two hand controllers, one for each hand. I will now demonstrate how this virtual environment works. In the virtual environment, we can move around as in real life, pick up objects as well as hit other objects. This will help when we are trying to pick up objects with a hand. So now that we have a model of a hand and Unity for our basic testing environment, Edward uses both of these things to animate the hand using the glove. Thank you, Tyler, for your explanation of the model of the hand and the virtual testing environment. What I've been working on is a prototype glove using Unity, flex sensors, and an expanded Arduino board. When I put on the prototype glove, I can flex my fingers, and the action will be replicated into the Unity program that I've created. Let me demonstrate how it works. When I flex my first finger, it will be replicated onto the screen and the first finger of the hand mo model of the hand will be flexed. When I flex the second finger, the second finger on the model of the hand will be flexed. They both operate independently of each other. We've spent approximately 1,500 hours on this project and we believe it will take another 2,000 hours before we are finished. We're hoping to finish it next year before the end of our junior year. We'd like to thank Mr. Henley and Forest Lake Academy for helping set up the Innovations Lab program and allowing us to move forward with this project.